Hey everyone, this is Sai here from Data Hands. Um, hope you guys are doing good. It's been a while since I've uploaded videos, but I've been working on some interesting stuff with NetSuite data, uh, especially with SuiteQL and a lot of NSAW projects. Um, so I would like to start off with building a cash flow statement report in Excel or any BI tool of your choice. How would you tackle that in um, using NetSuite's ODBC driver to like basically connect to NetSuite and then use a sweet ql or like a sql query to like query this and replicate this cash flow statement here into your excel or power bi so for this exercise you need to be an admin or you need to at least have uh, a sweet analytics connect user role permission so that you can run off sql queries and uh, to get started also if you wanted to like run your sql queries inside netsuite i've put a link uh, to my other video, which allows you to like install a sweet QL query tool, which is free. So feel free to like use that to run and debug your SQL queries. Uh, to get started, I would say you would need a basic knowledge or like a basic accounting exercise here. So the thing is you would need to understand what constitutes net income, like what is the account types that constitute net income. Same with all of these here, these are all the different account types that constitute adjustments to your net income. Same with investing activities and if you have like uh, operating activities, investing and any other financial activities like long-term liabilities. Also, let me see if I can pull that out. Let me show you that. Yep, there you go. So there are more like investing activities and like finance, like equity. Um, like fixed assets and you're investing and then you're yeah so each netsuite instance is different so the account types you have in your system might be different so this is going to be based out of a generic demo instance so feel free to customize based on the sql and for today's exercise i'm gonna show you guys how to do it through building out from the net income for starters and you can use the same sql template to then build out adjustments to net income investing financial activities and so on and so forth and uh to keep in mind i'm only building it out for like the parent consolidated subsidiary context because netsuite get get complicated when you have a one world instance with multiple subsidiaries with different currencies so for today's exercise it's only going to be at the base or like the parent level so to make it easier for you guys to understand what i'm trying to do uh okay let's get started with the query first so, so I'm assuming now that you've installed the SuiteQL query tool. Uh, I usually put the SuiteQL query tool under lists, custom, and like a SuiteQL query tool page so I can easily access. And this is the query that I built. Um, you can see there are lots of joins here. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that this is like a fairly basic SQL that I've written to um, basically get the net income for uh, a period um, but obviously when I remove if, like I have put a where clause for the same I've done some group buys to get it to where I want so before we dive into here um, just want to run this and show you like how the uh, I just want to show you the, the data for April 2022 which I'm running this uh, SQL query for to check if the net income ties with what is there in the system so I see a value of 60,366 for April 22. So let's head back into the cash flow report and then filter it out for April to see if the net income value ties out. And let's see. Oops, this is 23. There we go, 6366. I see the same thing in, in my SQL query. So the first thing is we are able to get that data coming over, so which is good. And what I can do is if I want to verify it further, I can run another report, basically a financial report to get check the income statement. And then choose the period for April 22. Okay, so 
there we go so the value ties out so let me explain you guys what the SQL is so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the different account types in the system and get the amount based out of the accounting line table inside NetSuite and all of the like how you build queries in on uh, NetSuite so you if you want to understand more you can always use like the table references or like the remote library in the suite kill query tool so it definitely helps you with understanding how the different um, uh, tables are connected to each other like there's an ERD I think in the connect browser I, I will put the link in the description for the video so you guys have all the resources you need to understand the data model better so to give you guys a brief a glimpse of what the data model here is I've used the transaction table joined it with like the accounting line transaction lines and then um, joined it with the various accounting periods you would have vendors accounts subsidiary um, and the parent subsidiary here uh, to get get a hold of like the structure here to get this data and then put in where like the where clause where we want only the posted transactions right and then we only want it for the primary accounting book say if you have like a different accounting book in your instance you could use that here in this case and then the crucial uh, point here is the account type so the account types I've used are like the income expense cost of goods sold and other expense which would constitute uh, my net income in my instance but this could very in your case um, so and I've also put a filter for the period I wanted to test so if I were to filter like comment this out this would basically give me like the net income across different periods right along with the different account types so be sure to like um, play around with this so like I said before um, if you wanted to have like your detailed cash flow the one which I was where you want to build out for like the other adjustments net net income other current assets accounts payable other current liabilities for example all of these you should you all you have to do is just change the where clause and you should be able to get to these amounts and then tie and verify and then I would say since like the query is just for net income I would create a un same query and with the same structure just union union this out to an um, to itself I can quickly show you guys how this looks like in Power BI as well. So if you guys see my screen, Power BI dashboard or report here, so you can see how I pull in this, th this data in, into Power BI and then I'm, I'm just like using different, how we can slice and dice. This is um, just an example. So this is how it's gonna look like if you're using a pivot view. And then um, obviously in Power BI you can use like trend lines, um, you can do further analysis, you can do I can also put in like different trend trend um, I guess average um, like different ca calculate different metrics based on the visuals obviously um, you can di put different filters uh, use custom met metrics use uh, like if you wanted to compare not just these account types but also try and compare like the um, like if you see here the financial road too so if you wanted to like see how uh, my accounts receivable has been accounts payable has been compared to like my income expense cost of goods so I, 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 I can verify all of that here so which is pretty cool uh, I know native NetSuite doesn't is very limited with its cash flow um, like report so th this is why I wanted to like sh share with the community on how to build this out and if you guys need any help reach out to me I've put my contact details here uh, in the video description so if you wanted to like build out a complex cash flow uh, report into like a reporting tool like power bi excel or like say another bi solution you wanted to use and not and reduce the sh licenses that you use for netsuite we'd be happy to like help you assist with building it um, from a consolidated perspective or if you wanted to do it at subsidiary level we'd be able to help you out there as well we're also running a discount on our um, Gumroad page where we have all of our products for like safe searches to Power BI if you wanted to like automate that uh, NetSuite career guide I've put the links for that as well so feel free to support me uh, while I share more content with you guys thank you so much